What's up guys? So today we're off to Abu Dhabi. A friend of mine has lent me his car, which has worked out much cheaper than actually getting a taxi or an Uber, as I discovered. So it's about an hour, 10 minute drive uh, to the uh, Grand Sheikh Zayed Mosque, also known as the White Mosque. And I would probably recommend that you um, hire a car if you're gonna do this, because it actually kind of works out cheaper than somehow getting a cab. Um, for some reason I couldn't really find any particular public transport like the train. I can see the train runs along this road here, but it doesn't actually run all the way to the next city. So uh, join me and let's check out the White Mosque. So we've finally made it over to the Grand Mosque of Sheikh Zayed, also known as the White Mosque. And this is what you've met with the, as soon as you arrive. It's quite amazing, isn't it? The, uh, the view that's here. I suppose the only disappointing thing for me is having to wear this mask throughout this whole experience because it's quite warm today and just wearing a mask just makes it more much more difficult, but I'm dressed in uh, the full local clothes today, so there we go. So at this point I was told off for talking on camera and I was told that I could film but not talk at the same time because it was distracting to others, which I totally understand. So we'll be doing this vlog in a voiceover. So the mosque itself is free to visit and there is a huge car park just underneath it, which you can park in for free. I would recommend not going there at the weekends, obviously, especially Friday, because you'll be interfering with the Friday prayers. It is an active mosque and people do use it. That being said, it is actually very tourist friendly. They uh, have set up special spots like you see here all around the mosque for all the tourists to kind of stop and take their photos, which I actually thought was pretty cool considering it is a active religious building. A lot of people seem to bunch up right at the beginning thinking that this is the only spot, you know, you can stop to take a photo, but there is literally about I don't know, maybe 10 different spots all around the mosque that you can uh, stop at at different points, take your photos from different angles, etc. Now, if you are planning to visit there, you don't have to dress up in the traditional clothes that I'm dressed up in. However, if you are a woman, you will need to cover your head. So if you don't get a chance to buy the local clothes and the headscarves, etc. before you get there, don't worry because there are shops um, just before you enter into the mosque itself that do sell all this stuff. So if you wanna dress up and uh, get with the culture, um, you can, it is available there. But as I said, for the guys, it's not a big deal. You don't have to dress up, but for the females, you definitely have to cover your head. It's, uh, there is no exceptions about this. I actually saw quite a few tourists um, where their headscarf had kind of just slightly slipped off and uh, the security came up to them within a second and said, please cover your head. Um, you can see these guys walking around, uh, constantly checking what everyone's up to. So just be aware. And as I said, it is an active religious building, so don't think they're going to be going there and doing, you know, TikTok dances, etc., because it's very inappropriate and you'll be told off straight away. So let's talk about the history of the mosque itself. It is the largest mosque in the Emirates, which is obviously located in Abu Dhabi. They started building it in 1996, and it took them 11 years to complete it. Finally opened in 2007. It cost 545 million US dollars to build. And the mosque has a capacity to take up to 41,000 worshippers at one time. So it was pretty huge. Once you finish your tour, you can jump into these little golf buggies that kind of take you back to the start. I actually appreciated this golf buggy because it was pretty warm, especially with the face mask that day. So uh, it's quite nice to uh, get back to the start in it. On some of my other platforms that I made this video on, uh, this place was met with some negative comments. But for me, I think it's quite an amazing place and it's definitely worth a visit if you are going to be in uh, the Emirates. And after you finish, you can actually head down back to where those shops were that I mentioned earlier and you can grab some food if you're hungry as well before you head off. So there you go guys. We got to see the uh, Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. And I actually went to the Louvre, which I wasn't really planning to do on this uh, particular trip. It's quite a nice drive, really straightforward. There's not much to worry about if you if you're used to driving in the UK it's pretty much the same here really the, ru the rules are pretty good it's not like when I was driving in Cairo it's chaos it's actually very organized here to drive so don't be afraid of it and as I said your license is valid here so I hope you enjoyed the tour 
of the Grand Mosque. Um, until next time.